so many tasks to be done. Almost like the weather system on the planet. In order to clear some of this, you need to clear some of this in order to get to that, to put into the skip. Don't want to fill the skip with stuff that we can burn. We need to clear the stuff from the bottom of the garden, but we need space up here in order to burn. So we need to have burnt this to get the rest of the trees from down there up here to burn again, in order to strim the lawn. It's like an ecosystem all of its own, this garden. As soon as one part of it starts to tug you towards it, another part of the garden tugs you towards, that, towards it that way. I still haven't even sown those bloody seeds. Guess what I did? I left them in the rain in the night, so they're all soaking wet and drying out in a bowl. So, I've just come out to the garden. Look at him. So he stabbed himself with a thorn, and now he's licking the blood off. Why is that a problem? I thought well, you could get a... bloody sepsis. What is it that gardeners die of? Sepsis, isn't it? Frustration, trying to do it for you. <laughs> Babe, please don't lick wounds. Look, I've almost reduced by half the... Look, guys, go away. Can't see anything, but I have. God, isn't it a beautiful day? Gorgeous. I'm oh doing God, this in blessed. order to clear that from down there. And then no, that, that from, from down, down there. there, look. Your dad's definitely got chainsaw envy. He's got someone in. Yes, we've got Listen. chainsaw wars going on. Chainsaw wars. For those of you who are new to our channel, my mum and dad live next door to us. That's their house, and that's where I grew up. We're trying to basically make sense of this insanely out of control garden. So I thought I'd just get this down so I could just pile it all back up again from down there. It's a tall, tall wall. But look, you might not be able to see, but clearing all of that crystal there, the limpy amount of wood, chainsawed that back. So the idea is to push, 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 push back. So, in terms of green fingered hell, I'm about to go and get all that other wood and bring it up here. But look, I've cleared, if you can see, I've cleared quite a big space there. And I've got all that behind us, so skip still. But uh, here I'm thinking we could get our first raised bed. You know, have to dig it up, all that, de-weeding it. Just got to get all of that there. See all that? That's all been chainsawed over there to where the uh, fire is, so that we can see what's under this bed and see what we can rescue. Because let me show you this: we found some peonies already, still struggling to get through. Yeah. See these? There's there. The peonies. Where is he? Oh God. <laughs> He's gone to full boy scout. He's building a fire so huge. Look at that out there. God help us. All right. You all right? Right. It's taken an inordinate amount of effort. But in two hours, do you remember the grass here? Look at the, that's the bed. That's the grass, which I can now strim because everything's off it. Everything is in the front garden. Look at that. Look. Look, you can see the bed. You can see the bed to start rebuilding the bed. Oh God. There's the fire over there. See it, it's still going. And then, Bed freed up, rake to move just this little to get to the fire. There you go. You must have seen me moving backwards and forwards quite a few times. Oh wow! So, oh my god! So there's our flower bed again. Oh wow! So basically, I can now scrim that lawn so it'll be de pooed and good to play on. Nah, I would kiss you, but you look absolutely. I know, but look, 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 look. Oh, it's really I mean, it's, God, you've worked your That was covered off, in babe. stuff over there. It's all gone up to the top there and it's replaced oh, everything that I've burnt so today. Well. So I've probably burnt half the debris that was up there, but now I've replaced it with all the debris that was here. But I mean, that has to be done. So at least now I can strim that tomorrow. Fantastic. <laughs> I need a ginger beer. All right, darling. And I need, to, tea, need to sit on a chair just for a minute. I really yeah, ache. Uh, I don't know, I'm so scratched up. My arms. God, you need remedies. I'm Ugh. really worried about this. Um, are we in Green Fingered Hell or are we in the vlog? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Where are we, guys? Do you want cheesecake? 
Yes, please. Mark has been asking for cheesecake since the minute he woke up. He had so much last night. I've been saying no, so I'm going to treat him now. Surprise him. He's worked so hard in the garden. You can have a little surprise. Surprise! Oh my god. Fantastic. And isn't it so much nicer because you don't have it all Thank the time? You. Oh, yeah, result. Oh my god. I've You've worked your bananas really, off today. Really have. You need I to think, have a nice hot bath. Even I think so. God, I'm so sore. Look. Oh, babe. That's not good. Good toffee just waiting. Actually, cheesecake is not it's recommended not for dogs. For dogs. Never. So good, isn't it? Mark has been out there hours and Maddie's just outside. Look, I don't know if you can see her. She's so sweet, just telling him how well he's done. It will literally make his day. So sweet. <laughs> Look at him, Maddie. He's been like a mad person for <laughs> it. Literally ours. It so needs to be done. But look at it though. It looks so good. I mean, it looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, I literally love it. I know, I get what he means now. Do <laughs> this back. I bet you. How much do you want to bet that at some when point in the next up. few days, he's going to be in tears about his back? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know he was. He looked at you, didn't he? He didn't even hear me calling him. <laughs> Babe, it looks amazing. No, genuinely. I know I'm laughing at you, but genuinely. We're, we're sitting in there. Oh my God, it looks like we've got the most enormous garden. Yeah. And if you imagine this is going to be dark. Soil. We have got the most enormous garden. We never knew we had a big garden, babe. Good, isn't it? Wouldn't the swimming pool look lovely there? So there's now no dog shit on here. Imagine a swimming pool there. No. Oh my God, what do you mean no? What if somebody offered us, this is what happens to YouTubers, what if somebody offered us a free swimming pool, would you well, say no? <laughs> okay guys, any swimming pool makers out there that want to give us a free swimming pool? see how this bed is going to be now? Oh Ma, honestly, I, th I know I'm laughing, but I genuinely do think you're right. I love it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. It's gonna be really good. But me and Maddie are laughing our heads off in there. Well at, the, <laughs> at the thought of your back. Maddie, what do you reckon about his back? Yeah, it's going to gonna hurt, see. Side to side is already twinging a bit. Oh, it's <laughs> going well yeah, a bit of this, a bit of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think, you think, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm literally in shock at how big it is. It is big. And this is going to, I tell you what, you can't even begin to comprehend how, this is going to look like a lush, proper, planned bed. Is it? Yeah. And this, now we're going to get Hang on, I'm coming round. Oh dear. I'm coming out. Oh shit. Right. Not poo. This look, looks. Up, God, the lawn isn't that bad. Exactly, that's what I've been trying to say to you. But it's very bumpy, babe. Well, yeah, but that's the land. And if we get a swimming pool here, it won't matter. <laughs> But what I'm going to do, yeah. what I'm oh, going to do, wow. this, is like, nice. this is like the first pass. This is kind of getting everything off. And then in the morning, with a couple of days, we'll see where there are bumps. And I'll come back out, tackle those bumps, and it should Can be Can you get more. rid of bumps in the Well, no, but I can get, it's being accentuated by the fact that it's a, it's a rough cut. Because <laughs> it's a strimmer, it's not a mower. It is amazing, babe. And a shed over look there. Look this. Shed over there. This will look brilliant. Yeah. I mean, look at the difference. It's got a they must be able to see. It's got like a look, shape. I've kept this one pretty. Look at the apple oh, blossom. Oh, look at this. Apple blossom. Oh, wow. Yeah. We just need to do something about klepto toffee. I know. We can't control her. Oh, my God, Mark. It just looks so big. Doesn't it? It's cray cray. And if you think, and that looks nice there. That looks set up. It does. It looks quite cute. Yeah. There he is, picking up poos. God, he's been picking.
<laughs> oh shit, bro, I don't know It's really funny because you look like you were going to tie yourself off in that lead and go fly. <laughs> look, you can have pretty little flowers in the beds. I know, I can't wait. Can we go and buy some? <gasps> it's bank holiday weekend, we can buy flowers. Yeah. Yay. Everyone says I need to go to Ikea to get something for my bedroom. Yes, I saw her. So, subs. Toffee, do you like it? Toffees. Toffee's rolling. I like he fed smoke twenty Benson and edges. So look, look, subs. Look. Babe. La, 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 la. Babe. Do you know it's chandelier, not tangerine? It's tangerine like a sunset. No, it's chandelier it's like tangerine. a light. Tangerine like a tangerine sunset. Orangey. So, oh my god, I ache. Just going to collect the shit bags. But look, the dogs are coming out, the dogs are loving it. You like it, Toffs? Look. Not only grass, a flower bed to start working with. Just need to fork it all up, put some topsoil, put some compost in, and we can start. And a, uh, a dear friend of Betty and Teddy's suggested we drill holes into the bottom of the tree trunks. I'm going to uh, chainsaw them even lower, uh, but then we can drill holes and they'll, over time, they'll, they'll go away. But we can start to plan the bed. Nanny Di is going to have a, a hernia with excitement. Um, so, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Meanwhile, let's go and see what's happening over in <laughs> the front garden. Oh, where my fire has been going for hours and hours and hours. Uh, it's probably just burning embers now. But yes, the downside, the trade-off, is this. Uh, yeah. Dear me. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to clear that. Pull that out of the way, and then I'm going to trim all of this. Let me just show you the extent of the problem down here. Look, I'm just going to take you down the side here, down the side of the house, and I'm going to show you what we've got. This is outrageous. And as you can see, so much of that has to go in the skip because you can't burn it. But look how much of it is burnable. Cardboard. It's just cardboard. I've also just discovered I've got the wrong footwear on. I might, it might have some uh, sandals on. And the brambles have already torn my ankles to shreds. So, anyway, uh, look at all that. Burn it, skip it. <clears throat> I can work on the wood, I can work on all that across time. But I need to fill the skip with metals and plastics and shit like that. Nadia's off at Westfields. I think that's going to be warm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, can you see the. Uh... There you go. Nadia's off at Westfields. Um, I'm at the house trying to make progress with the garden and uh, yeah, well, as you can see, a lot of burning, a lot of chopping, a lot of shredding probably to come and a lot of skip filling, hopefully. Uh, a lot of it's repetitive, so I'm not going to show all of it, but we may well show you where we're at now. That is all the stuff that I've brought from over in the garden down there. Um, but that's the final lot, if you know what I mean. I've got everything else out of the garden, so I'm kind of pleased about that. Okay, I'm just going to show you the drive. I've just now picked up 
all of the pine cones. I've just picked up all the pine cones and I'm setting fire to them so that I can then spade all that gravel into the wheelbarrow and then drizzle it across the drive. I'm trying to do that before Nadia gets back from Primark, or sorry, Westfield, so that uh, there's at least a sort of surface difference to the front of the house. Now there's about a tonne of gravel and uh, as I pour it on the entrance of the drive, it's making a minimal effect. But I think the entrance of the drive is the key place. And just in front of the door, I have put weed killer over there for all those uh, weeds over there, but they haven't died yet. So part of me is wondering if I pull a few up and then just chuck a bit of this down and then pour weed killer over the top again. But anyway, yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment. Okay, team, I'm struggling. So I'm kind of reaching the end of the gravel and it, pretty much just does to where the house is shadowed. So uh, we're gonna need three times the gravel to do the drive. Plus also, I was about to put that gravel there, there, but there's weeds and I'm gonna be coming in and out doing the skips. So I realized that's probably not very wise because it will just get crumbled on and unnecessarily made thin again by my movement. And then I'd got distracted with the raised beds. And I'm, I'm not, I need to sort of dig little foundations with the raised beds, but it's like a game of fucking Jenga mixed with Tetris. And I can't work out for the life of me what I need or what I've done wrong or if what I'm trying to do is a good idea or not. Let me show you. I want a bed that runs along there. And then, so flowers, 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 and then turns, and then the wooden things go to the end there. I need to buy two more things. So I'm trying to overlap them in a way works. Now obviously the soil can't go too high over there otherwise it will rock that fence away. And so we're gonna to have to dig down, dig all these weeds up and dig down to then turn it over and enrich the soil. Is that right? Is that right subs? Am I right to think like that? So to dig down I'm gonna fork up all the weeds, enrich the soil with topsoil and compost but try and keep it at the same height. Yeah? Let me carry on. It's, this is doing my head in. I'm sat down in the front garden, in front of a fire, under the sun. Ugh, probably doesn't look like I've ever made any progress, but I tell you what, I've burnt the equivalent of what I'm looking at. That was lit as high up as there. Plastics, plastics, plastics. See the fence? Really cut my foot. It doesn't look bad, but that's really painful. I'm just going to think I'm going to get sepsis or something. Oh, I've got all sorts of stings around my ankles. Didn't dress, didn't wear the right shoes, did I? For things like that landing, I am cream crackered, and it's only it's only ten to four, and I think Nadia's heading back soon. So I'm thinking I might. Wait till the fire's safe and then go back into the drive and do the rest of the uh, gravel. Well, that was Good Friday, wasn't it? Well, no, it's not over yet. Plus, it had to be done. This is the thing. Sometimes these really sort of repetitive, menial jobs are the crucial, crucial bits that need to be done in order for progress to be made. And I quite like that. I can do really sort of in intellectually rigorous jobs or totally manual and just breaking twigs off and breaking branches down and burning them is joyful sometimes. Mm -hmm.